Hi everyone. Welcome to this video module. In this uh, video, we are going to discuss beliefs, values and uh, attitudes of individuals. So why these are uh, important for a manager? So when you are uh, dealing with the people at workplace, so understanding the human behavior is one important dimension. So understanding of human behavior starts from identifying each individual belief system, values and uh, attitudes. In that context, so this module is prepared and then uh, meant for uh, <coughs> understanding the basic concepts of these three important elements of human behavior, beliefs, values and attitudes. Right. So if you just see that uh, why these are uh, very uh, no, essential for managers. So these are uh, no, um, these are uh, uh, crucial to know the person's behavior. If you want to understand individual behavior, so you must understand these are her belief system, values, and attitudes. So in that context, these are very much relevant to managers at workplace. So as far as belief is concerned. It is something related to the perception of a relationship between two objects or something and a characteristics of it. So that means you can see that it is a kind of uh, you perceived uh, no, uh, idea, right? You perceived uh, no, uh, thought. So how is it? Uh, uh, no, you can see that with example. So physical activity is boring. When you see that the physical activity is boring, that is a belief of somebody. And at the same time, some other person believes that the physical activity is uh, important uh, for uh, keeping body fit. So that is the, the belief of uh, the other person. So similarly you can see that the other belief like you no know, lawyers are dishonest. So whether all lawyers are dishonest or only few lawyers are dishonest and it depends on the belief of the individual. Right. So further if you see that the, uh, the Bob's loves uh, James. So it is something belief. Right. What is exactly uh, we are not aware of that, right? So the the reality always uh, uh, different from our belief, right? We believe based on our information or for our uh, uh, no whatever that we you know, uh, know about uh, that object, right? So then further, if you just look at the values, the values are basic convictions or notions about what is right and what is wrong, right? So knowing what is right and what is wrong or understanding what is right and what is wrong, it is something related to values. So if uh, something is right for one individual, that is their value system, right? And the same thing may not be the uh, right for some other, uh, you know, the set of people or even uh, individuals. So in that way, you can see that values varies from person to person, right? So then further, if you just look at the attitudes, the attitudes are defined as uh, predispositions towards action about or towards the people and then things. Evaluation of people, objects and then ideas and made up of emotional reactions, thoughts and then beliefs and actions components. So this is something related to attitude. So, so they can be learned or genetic and are sometimes impossible to change. So that is what is the attitude. So attitude is something related to the feelings or uh, uh, opinion about uh, an object, right? So that is what is uh, now we call the attitude. So further, we will understand more and more about these uh, three, you uh, know, uh, the components, right? So the beliefs, values, and the attitudes, because three are very important to understand individual behavior, right? So with this, let me stop here. Thank you very much. Let us meet in the uh, video fifty-two.